I remember when I was a child, my parents telling me that he was a scientist and uh, mad about irises. There was an imposing painting of him that hung in the dining room. When we were clearing the family home of nearly 50 years, I found some correspondence. My mother had been trying to source some of his irises. Um, I thought it might be quite fun to carry on where she left off. I found out he was a man of many pursuits. A professor of physiology, an MP, a writer. He's now remembered for his work on irises, but this was really a hobby. Many of his plants have been lost in the last hundred years. So you have to be a bit of a detective, weeding out the imposters and the doppelgangers. Foster had a knack for getting hold of new species from far-flung places. I'm now chasing his cultivars from collectors all over the world. I don't know if the next generation of my family are going to value the collection as I've come to. As in Sir Michael Foster's case, you can't choose the things that people are going to remember you for. <laughs>